let's unpack the Spring London Pen Shop. Yes, we've been there and I cannot wait to share the experience of meeting with everyone with you all on the Pen Venture YouTube channel. And what better way to do that than having an update on my personal fun pen collection because we have a lot of things to talk about. It's been some time since we haven't had a video on the Panager YouTube channel and that is just because of the huge work volume to catch up with orders that was placed in the time that we went away at the London Pen Shop. Also to manage inventory stock and to do every single paperwork that was uh, lagging. And uh, anyway, we caught up with everything and uh, we still wait for a big, big box to return from London. And after that, that's it. We will be back to normal operation until the next Pen Shop. To all of you that were at our table at the London Pen Shop, on behalf of Penventure, myself, my wife Ramona, and also baby Emily, which was present there at the table, and you got to meet her and to purchase inks, Lamy fountain pens from her table. I want to say a big, big thank you and a big, big sorry to most of you that I haven't had the proper time to sit and talk with everyone because our table was super, super busy. Starting from nine o'clock in the morning, that was the last time that I had a sip of water. And from nine o'clock all the way until the afternoon around five, uh, six o'clock, that is where you found me at the pen venture table answering to all of your questions adjusting your fountain pens letting you the view of an awesome fountain pen inventory collection anyway from the pen shop sadly i couldn't just wander around and have a look at what was on other tables because i would have wanted to get and to just simply add a few pieces to my personal fountain pen collection but anyway lately i did made some changes i did open myself up to having some of my personal fountain pens that I've collected to be sold in order to fund future purchases that I'm planning. And also I want to show you something which just recently joined my personal fountain pen collection. I don't know where to start. Well, first of all, I'm gonna tell you a little bit regarding the changes because I've changed some nibs. I've changed a few things in my personal fountain pen collection and I think you're gonna love finding out which are the changes. And I'm gonna show you two very, very lovely fountain pens. Here I have a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Arco celluloid. And uh, you may remember this fountain pen because it had one of those insane gold stacked nibs by Nib Lab Jose, AKA Nib Labs. And this is an amazing writing instrument, period. But due to the fact that the nib was so, so broad, it burned through a lot of ink, a lot. So I decided to put something a little bit more practical on it and to have fun writing with just a simple nib. Since on the Conet King Size Bulk Filler, another piece of my personal fun pen collection, I had a Leonardo 14 karat gold size eight extra fine the nib, I said, let's do a treat because I think the Conid is gonna be liking to have such a big appetite nib and the King Leo, my Momento Zero Grande in Arco Bronze celluloid would love to have a nib which is not that thirsty. We did the swap and have a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous Conant King size with this magical nib. Let me zoom in and let me show you really how good is this nib. Good in looks, good in writing, good in every single sense. I just love this fat, broad nib, which puts down a lot of ink. And I'm gonna show you how it's writing in just a few moments. And look at the King Leo with this just simple, normal, extra fine point nib, ebonite feeder just as well. I just love this combo because now, besides looks, 
I can get this fountain pen to be my companion in daily writing. So this is one of the changes that I did. So we're gonna update the list down below. Now I think you're gonna love to see these two nibs in action. So let's give it a try with this Conid. Oh my God. So this is the king size. And bulk filler. I may just misspelled something, but I'm not going to even bother to look further. And have a look how much ink does this nib puts down. So this is gorgeous. As you angle it, it will ride finer and finer all the way to what I think it's a fine point. But if you slant down this tipping, have a look at this. Now so we're gonna go one more test like this one and it goes from like a broad to a fine. Now let's have a try with the normal extra fine point King Leo. So this is Leonardo Momento Zero Grande King Leo and this is Arco Celluloid and uh, have a look at this. So this is an extra fine which is tuned by me for me. So it's a little bit more opened up, more wet and a little bit of feedback that comes with the added gap in between tines. So that is what you here right now, but I don't mind that. I find that quite, quite interesting. Now, this is a look with the pattern aligned. It's a gorgeous fountain pen and I cannot wait to get it in my daily routine, ink it up with many more inks and to have fun with it. Another interesting move is what I ended up putting on my Monty Winfield and or Jeremiah Hackett. This is one of my only custom made fountain pens. This is a pen which is made from ebonite, custom for me, lacquered ebonite. This is not Urushi. This is done by Jeremiah Hackett. Brilliant, brilliant person, friend. And he started to collaborate more and more with us. And we sometimes have some of his stacked nibs available for sale. So we have a few of them in our inventory right now. We have two owls. We have, I believe, a Kestrel, Abyss, Peregrine. And we did sold quite a few of them uh, at the show. Are you curious to find out which is the nib that I've choose for this fountain pen? Well, say no more. I used to have on this one the Seagull, which uh, it's a very interesting nib. It's a reverse architect nib, if I'm not mistaken, with a normal medium. On this one, it's a little bit more different, still an architect, but in normal writing, it's a needle point. Now, let me show you how this nib is in writing because it's jaw dropping. Normal writing. Super, super fine. It's a needle point. I would compare it to a Sailor extra fine nib, which is just like a needle point, if you ask me. Super, super fine. No matter how you point it, it's going to write as fine as this. But have a look once you turn this nib upside down. So if you write in reverse, broad. Super, super nice architect. It's a little bit sharp-ish, but again, it's an architect. So basically it's just like a blade in the reverse. It's supposed to just have that pencil-like feedback. This is a double stack nib. It is formed by a normal nib. Under it, we have another nib tipping cut off and welded underneath and then everything gets to be shaped in such a unique way by Jeremiah Hackett and he is just like a sculpture in metal. So basically you don't see any seam lines, any welding points, nothing whatsoever. His nibs look as good as they write. They're available on our website at the other section. Uh, you can search 
uh, to see what's available and also you will find some architect nib units from Leonardo uh, pre-ground medium and broads I think we have like a few of them available so if uh, this is something that you look forward to have now we have them uh, probably in the next time that we're gonna get them from uh, Jeremiah Hackett it's gonna be in eight months from now so with that out of the way uh, let me have a look yeah I think we have finished with the changes now I'm gonna show you some of the fountain pens which I've decided to pass along the opportunity they are not yet listed for sale but they will be and I want to give everyone which is basically watching right now my audience my friends my people the chance to have a look prior to this writing instruments being listed on our website the Bologna extra arco verde celluloid it's available for sale it got to not be used probably in the last two years maybe a handful of times three or four times I'm seeing it all day long and I could enjoy knowing that one of you which is looking for such a writing instrument it's enjoying it in writing and it's cherished loved appreciated and most of all it is used like it's intended to be its purpose so let's have a look this is a fountain pen so this is the the complete image when this fountain pen is completely tied so we have a pattern aligning on the cap on the barrel but on the piston knob it's not completely aligning unless you're gonna leave it a little bit open like this it's still secure but if you completely screw in this it's gonna be misaligned by a little bit well since the cap and the barrel are the most important and the pattern is aligning I don't see it as a huge huge flaw but for a person which is an OCD person can be so I want to point this up from the beginning the beautiful beautiful magic flex nib 18 karat gold with that cut out ebonite feeder which follows the nib whenever it's pressed it's riding uh, like a fine medium ish so a little bit more higher than usual fine point Italian celluloid arco it's gonna be a wonderful wonderful piece to add in your personal fountain pen collection if you are looking forward to have one arco fountain pen the rarest arco the green one that being said let's move further to the next piece which is going to be available soon still a celluloid fountain pen so mm -hmm. it's a leonardo momento zero grande in a beautiful beautiful red italian celluloid and this is one of the fountain pens which got to be purchased by myself from the usual unicorn section on the leonardo officina italiana website this sat in a draw since i've purchased i maybe used it once or twice since that i want to make it available for someone which probably missed on getting such a pen from Leonardo beautiful marbled red celluloid veins uh, gray uh, in it gorgeous gorgeous looking of course the size 8 14 karat gold nib on this one we have a stub red ebonite feeder uh, gorgeous gorgeous pen gorgeous in writing Mm, mm. and it even smells like any other Italian celluloid the, the, the camphor smell and everything so this is going to be available as well together with the ASC Arco Verde Bologna Extra and there is one more fountain pen it is the Sailor 110 years anniversary I had this fountain pen with me at the London pen show on my table a lot of people were interested to see it in person and and I just want to know that it's going to arrive at a very very eagerly awaiting new owner I decided to keep the silver version for myself and the black version it's available to be sold for a person which maybe watches this video right now or is gonna be soon listed for sale on our website a surprise I managed to find a box for it so now it comes also with the box cannot wait to find out which is gonna be my partner in crime in owning 
a piece of this 110 years anniversary collection from uh, Sailor. I'm gonna keep the silver version and the black version. I think this is gonna be listed for sale on our website. With that being said, it is time to update the list down below first of all. So if you want to just simply have a look at my entire fountain pen collection, to this point, you can scroll down, there you'll find all of the details, and we are gonna move to add two new pens to that list. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Have a look at this sparkly goddess of a fountain pen. So this is the Memento Zero Grande 2.0 Galactica Universe part of a limited edition of 300 pieces. And this is the type of resin similar to primary manipulation. Once I take the cap out, we'll see something super interesting also on this fountain pen. Since I am trying to experiment with a lot of uh, nib ranges, nib types, nib materials for my future exclusive editions, and you're gonna get a big, big hint when I'm gonna take the cap off on this fountain pen, I've asked if it's possible to have one of these fountain pens with a titanium size eight nib. And I got it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous addition on this fountain pen. So we have a size eight titanium medium nib with an ebonite feeder. And I cannot wait to show you how this pen is riding. It's the first time that I'm trying this size eight titanium nibs from Leonardo and uh, I was like, yeah, for sure I want to work with this nib option, nib type, nib material in the future. Cool, look at that wetness. Galactica Universe. And this is size eight. Titanium. Medium. And it does flex, but this nib is so soft, I don't want to press it and to spread the tines away too far and this way they don't come back. I want to show you the level of wetness. Wow, that's just one pass. Imagine what I can do with double pass. So <laughs> impressive to say at least. So we have a uh, Grave on Faber Castell and I believe this is Midnight, the ink. And uh, it's feedbacky, but that kind of pleasant feedback. It's not that uh, scratchy feedback, nothing whatsoever. So this is going to be part of my fountain pen collection. And last but not least, we're gonna have a look at what's residing inside this box. They don't make stuff like this anymore. And this is why I like this. And this is why I want to have it. This is why I'm in this hobby, just because boxes like this that contains fountain pens like this. I've been searching to own one of these pens for the past three or even four years. So this is a big, big milestone because the last Visconti fountain pen that I've purchased is roughly around two plus years ago. So I cannot even remember which was the last time, but a long, long time ago, maybe too long. This is a Visconti fountain pen, which is from like 20 years ago. It is vintage-ish to say so. I'm not going to tease you anymore from this point and I'm just going to reveal it. So, ta-da! We have the Divina Proporzione Visconti and this is made in Burlwood celluloid. This is not the gold version, this is the silver version and it comes with the divine ratio right here in the box. It is not technically speaking right now in this moment part of my collection, but the email is already sent out that this fountain pen was sent by someone from USA in order to be retailed on our consignment section. Well, I said it's gonna be mine. 
Sometimes it just happens. It's gonna be used, it's gonna be cherished, it's gonna be collected, it's gonna be uh, refurbished, and it's the first Divina model that I've welcomed in my collection because I've been looking forward to get my hands on one of these fountain pens for the past three, four years. The first time that I've seen it, Burlywood celluloid, either I want an old one in this celluloid or the grail grail on top, it's a Visconti. So yeah, it happened a Visconti. This is a power filler and it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to share this with everyone on uh, the Penvention YouTube channel in a future video review soon to come once I get to show it all of the love and to clean it and to make it shiny, good as new. This concludes my update. Contains everything from changes, new acquisitions, and also what is going to be soon available on our consignment section from the Pendenture website. Just as always, you can scroll down, you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me. Stay tuned because we're gonna introduce some new items. If you find my content useful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. I know that so many of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you want to subscribe right now, just click there, turn the notification bell on, and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my videos, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy as always. I'm your host, Henry from Penventure. I'll foresee you next video. Take care, stay safe, enjoy pants. Bye-bye.